In the tranquil embrace of night, eyes are naturally drawn upwards to the vast canvas of the sky, shimmering with countless stars. Among these celestial wonders, the Milky Way's majestic arc claims its prominence, a testament to our home galaxy's splendor. Yet, this breathtaking view is merely the threshold to the universe's vastness. Beyond our immediate surroundings lies an almost incomprehensible expanse, home to over two trillion galaxies, each with its unique ensemble of stars, planets, and mysteries. In our early endeavors to understand the cosmos, we approached these galaxies with childlike wonder, cataloging and studying them with fervor. As our knowledge expanded, we discerned that these galaxies were not mere isolated specks. They interconnected, creating the intricate cosmic web, a testament to the universe's underlying structure. This vast network, crafted from galaxies, gas, and the enigmatic dark matter, forms the universe's very foundation. To grasp the universe's essence, one must delve into this cosmic web. A cursory glance is insufficient, it's akin to skimming the surface of a profound ocean. This network is pivotal, birthing galaxies and being woven from them. It actively shapes the cosmos, influencing every celestial body. Our cosmic journey, reflecting on our past and envisioning our future, is inextricably linked to this network. It sets the stage for the universe's myriad wonders and possibilities. As time unfurls, a question persists. How did our universe, from its humble beginnings as a nebulous gas, evolve into this grand cosmic web? This web, teeming with life and consciousness, has given rise to beings like us, ever curious and in awe of the universe's mysteries. While the universe might seem chaotic to some, discerning scientists have identified patterns and order within its vastness. Their insights reveal a universe governed by structure and harmony. In the quest to understand our cosmic origins, scientists turn to advanced technology, aiming to study the primordial light from the universe's earliest galaxies. Atop a remote plateau stands a testament to this endeavor, the VLT, or Very Large Telescope. It focuses on the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, a region immortalized by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995. With the VLT's advanced capabilities, astronomers are on the verge of new discoveries, venturing deeper into the cosmos, eager to unveil its age-old secrets. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, dark matter, an elusive and secretive entity, played a pivotal role in shaping the universe as we know it. This enigmatic substance, far outweighing ordinary matter, was the driving force behind cosmic clustering. In simple terms, the very fabric of the cosmic web is woven from dark matter. Imagine the universe as an ever-expanding tapestry. Tendrils of material stretch out, reaching every corner of space. As this structure grows, its gravitational influence intensifies, drawing even more dark matter into its embrace. These amassed clumps then condense, forming filaments that intersect at densely packed junctions. This creates a vast, dark framework that attracts hydrogen gas, reminiscent of dewdrops clinging to a spider's web. Over millions of years, these gas strands span the universe, eventually illuminating it with a myriad of stars and galaxies. But a lingering question remains. When did these celestial bodies first emerge, and what were the characteristics of the earliest galaxies? This enigma is at the heart of cosmic exploration. In 2018, a breakthrough came when scientists delved into the mysteries of an ancient galaxy named Max 1149 JD1. Within it, they discovered some of the universe's oldest stars, this galaxy was birthing stars shortly after the Big Bang. These ancient luminaries could potentially unlock the secrets of how the universe's foundational web first ignited. Yet, as astronomers analyzed the light from these stars, believed to be from a time just 250 million years post-Big Bang, they encountered an unexpected revelation. 
These stars weren't solely composed of hydrogen and helium, the primary elements birthed by the Big Bang. They also contained what astronomers term metals, essentially any element beyond hydrogen and helium. In the realm of astronomy, regardless of its position on the periodic table, if an element isn't hydrogen or helium, it's classified as a metal. This categorization, though perplexing to some, is a testament to the unique lens through which astronomers view the universe. The presence of these metals in such ancient stars implies a profound truth. These elements, typically forged in the hearts of dying stars, indicate that an even older generation of stars existed before them. These precursor stars, potentially the universe's first, remain shrouded in mystery. How did they ignite, and did they pave the way for the birth of the first galaxies? The narrative of the universe's evolution is reminiscent of age-old creation myths. From the abyss of darkness emerged structure, and from this structure, the universe was illuminated. Let's journey back in time to a moment roughly 100 million years after the Big Bang. The early cosmic web is shrouded in darkness, devoid of any stars to light its expanse. Yet, the stage is set for the universe's first act of stellar creation. After eons of cosmic expansion, the gas clouds, anchored to the scaffolding of dark matter, begin to contract. These hydrogen-rich clouds coalesce, forming super-dense, ultra-hot cores. When hydrogen atoms are packed tightly enough, they fuse into helium, igniting nuclear fusion reactions. Theoretical simulations suggest that these primordial gas clouds were colossal, with some having hundreds of times the mass of our Sun. The stars born from these clouds were unlike any celestial bodies we know today. Modern stars typically have masses ranging from 70 to 100 times that of our Sun. In stark contrast, these first-generation stars were titans, with masses up to a thousand times greater than the Sun. If placed in our solar system, such a star would extend all the way to Jupiter. The sheer scale is staggering. But what became of these celestial giants? The lifespan of a star is intrinsically linked to its mass. The greater the mass, the more intense the gravitational forces that compress its core, causing it to burn through its nuclear fuel at an accelerated rate. In essence, these first-generation stars were the universe's shooting stars, burning bright but fleeting, living fast and dying young. Though their lifespans were short, their impact was monumental. Their explosive deaths in supernovas enriched the universe with heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, silicon and iron, key ingredients for the next generation of stars. In today's universe, supernovas are relatively rare events. But back then, the cosmos must have been a pyrotechnic spectacle with frequent, dazzling explosions. This cycle of destruction and creation set the stage for a new era in star formation. 200 million years post-Big Bang, the remnants of these first stars permeated the interstellar medium with heavy elements. These elements acted as cosmic catalysts, making it easier for stars to form by cooling down the surrounding gas clouds more efficiently. As a result, the second generation of stars formed more rapidly and in greater numbers. This chaotic ensemble of stars eventually coalesced into a network of fledgling galaxies. Yet, the universe had one more surprise in store. The emergence of matter-hungry monsters within the young cosmic web the story of the universe is one of transformation, from the birth of colossal first-generation stars to the intricate web of galaxies we see today. It's a tale of cosmic evolution, where each chapter builds upon the last, shaping the universe as we know it. Fast forward to October 2020. Astronomers make a groundbreaking discovery, a supermassive black hole lurking among the cosmic web's earliest structures, dating back to just 900 million years after the Big Bang. This cosmic behemoth is surrounded by six galaxies, all ensnared in its gravitational pull and connected by filaments of the burgeoning cosmic web. It's as if the universe has granted these supermassive black holes a lifeline, an all-you-can-eat buffet of cosmic matter. 
Supermassive black holes are enigmatic entities, voraciously consuming any matter that ventures too close. Their mass can range from 100,000 to 10 billion times that of our Sun. Yet, their origins remain one of the universe's greatest puzzles. Unlike regular, stellar black holes, which are the remnants of dead stars and have masses ranging from three to thousands of times that of the Sun, supermassive black holes are a different breed altogether. At 13 billion years ago, not enough stars had lived and died to create such massive entities. So, where did they come from? Recent observations suggest that these cosmic giants grow within the lattice of the young cosmic web, feasting on hydrogen gas that flows along its filaments. While you might think that such voracious consumption would stifle galaxy formation, most mature galaxies, in fact, harbor a supermassive black hole at their centers. These black holes play a pivotal role in shaping the physics and evolution of galaxies. Take, for example, the Milky Way's own supermassive black hole, known as Sagittarius A. It spans 27 million miles and weighs over 4 million solar masses. The environment around it is tumultuous, filled with an accretion disk of plasma heated to thousands of degrees. Not exactly a hospitable setting for star formation, one would think. Using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, Scientists scanned the heart of the Milky Way and found something astonishing. More than 800 dense cores of gas and dust within just a thousand light years of Sagittarius A, including over 40 stellar embryos emitting energetic jets, a telltale sign of starbirth. Despite the seemingly hostile conditions, star formation is happening even in the chaotic vicinity of supermassive black holes. It may not be as efficient as in the quieter, suburban regions of galaxies, but it works. And so, the cosmic web continues to evolve, its young galaxies developing around these enigmatic, matter-hungry monsters that have seemingly been around since the dawn of time. In the tumultuous neighborhoods surrounding supermassive black holes, stars are born, defying our previous understanding of these hostile environments. This resilience in star formation has led researchers to develop new theories. Picture an accretion disk of gas and dust swirling around the black hole at incredible speeds. Heated to extreme temperatures, plumes of this gas break away and shoot into space, only to cool down, collapse, and give birth to new stars. These accretion disks are chaotic crucibles, paradoxically both inhibiting and triggering star formation. At the intersections of the cosmic web, matter accumulates, fueling the supermassive black holes at their cores. Around these cosmic behemoths, stars ignite, gradually forming galaxies. This could very well be the genesis of our own Milky Way, woven into the young cosmic web. But the universe, it seems, thrives on chaos. New research suggests that the growth of these fledgling galaxies isn't a peaceful endeavor. The universe is a stage set for cosmic drama, where stars are born and die, often in the volatile vicinities of supermassive black holes. Scientists argue that the key to galactic growth is, in fact, cosmic turmoil. To make an omelette, you need to break some eggs. In the cosmic kitchen, chaos is the chef, and collision is the recipe for rapid star formation and black hole growth. Through the lens of the Hubble Space Telescope, we see galaxies in various states of disarray, twisted, battered, and torn. These are not passive celestial bodies. They are dynamic entities, constantly colliding and merging. Astronomers have turned their attention to a peculiar galaxy named Himiko, born just 800 million years after the Big Bang. What initially appears as three bright light sources turns out to be three colliding proto-galaxies, still in the throes of formation. Computer simulations suggest that such collisions were far from rare in the early universe. These violent encounters act as catalysts for starbirth. Rich in gas, proto-galaxies that collide and merge set off a chain reaction. Their gas clouds collide, collapse, and give birth to stars sometimes at astonishing rates. After about a billion years, these chaotic interactions coalesce into a mature galaxy. Imagine the universe as it was around 500 million years after the Big Bang, 
smaller, more compact, and teeming with proto-galaxies. It's akin to squeezing a fleet of cars into a tiny city block. Collisions are inevitable. In the crowded cosmic streets of the young universe, proto-galaxies were bound to crash into each other, setting the stage for the galaxies we see today. In a universe governed by chaos and collision, we find that mayhem isn't just a byproduct. It's a necessity. Without it, the galaxies we know, and indeed we ourselves, would not exist. As the cosmic web expands, its gas-rich intersections become fertile grounds for the birth of baby galaxies. When small proto-galaxies collide, they may trigger modest star formation. However, when these collisions involve gas-rich proto-galaxies, the result is nothing short of cosmic fireworks. These high-octane mergers can give rise to what astronomers call star-burst galaxies, where star formation occurs at an astonishing rate. Imagine, if you will, a cataclysmic event around 10 billion years ago that served as the catalyst for the Milky Way's growth. In the galaxy's outer reaches, a peculiar group of stars known as the Gaia Enceladus Cluster behaves unlike its neighbors. These stars are the cosmic equivalent of outsiders, like kids from the next town over showing up at your school. They just don't fit in. This cluster didn't just wander into the Milky Way. It came crashing in, a violent event that ultimately led to its stars being absorbed into our galaxy. Such collisions are the building blocks of galaxies. Fast forward to less than a billion years after the Big Bang. The dark scaffold of the cosmic web begins to illuminate. Funneled down the web's tendrils, matter forms dense clumps of gas, even in the volatile vicinities of supermassive black holes. Stars ignite, baby galaxies collide, and the young universe is ablaze with light. But a pressing question looms. How did galaxies like the Milky Way not only survive, but thrive in the chaotic early universe? Our understanding of galaxy evolution is still evolving, and the scientific community is awash with competing theories. It's one of the most compelling questions in current scientific discourse. New research posits that the fate of galaxies in the universe's infancy is intricately tied to the cosmic web. About 13.6 billion years ago, a proto-galaxy that would become the Milky Way formed within this web. Today, our galaxy bears the scars of numerous collisions, each of which could have torn it asunder. So, what determines the life or death of a young galaxy? In May 2020, scientists captured images of a galaxy that existed just 1.4 billion years after the Big Bang. Analysis revealed it to be a starburst galaxy, a cosmic factory churning out stars at an incredible rate. While galaxies like the Milky Way are more stately, forming stars at a rate equivalent to the mass of the Sun each year, this starburst galaxy is on a whole different level. It's producing stars at a rate hundreds of times that of the Sun's mass each year, a celestial dynamo relentlessly forging new stars. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, we find that the story of galaxy formation and evolution is far from written. It's a tale of cosmic collisions, survival, and the indomitable spirit of star formation, a story still unfolding in the vast expanses of space. In the early universe, some young galaxies seem to be turbocharged, growing at an astonishing rate. How is this possible? Scientists believe the answer lies in the enigmatic substance that has orchestrated the flow of gas since the dawn of time, dark matter. Yet, studying this cosmic tapestry is a daunting challenge. When it comes to dark matter, we're navigating uncharted territory. Fast forward to May 2021. An international team of researchers embarks on a groundbreaking mission to understand dark matter's influence in our local universe. They focus on its gravitational effect on light. Even though dark matter is invisible, its massive presence bends and warps light in ways that are unmistakable. Using an AI-powered model, the team scrutinizes the light from 100 million visible galaxies, searching for these telltale distortions. What sets this AI model apart is its ability to learn. As it sifts through data, 
it becomes increasingly adept at detecting dark matter's subtle influence. The model not only confirms existing theories, but also uncovers previously unknown dark matter structures, hidden cosmic highways connecting galaxies. It's akin to discovering underwater tunnels in addition to the visible bridges that connect Manhattan to the surrounding land. This new map of dark matter reveals a complex network of hidden channels that nourish galaxies with gas. The most vibrant galactic structures seem to flourish at the cosmic web's most densely knotted intersections. These are gravitational hotspots where multiple filaments intersect, drawing in material like cosmic magnets. It's likely that these galaxy clusters are feeding directly off the cosmic web, and this could be the secret behind the rapid growth of galaxies in the early universe. However, there's a caveat. Being situated at these dense intersections is a double-edged sword. While they serve as rich feeding grounds for new star formation, being so deeply integrated into the cosmic network comes with its own set of challenges. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, we find that the story of galaxy formation is not just about the visible stars and planets, but also about the invisible dark matter that weaves the fabric of the cosmos. It's a tale of growth, connectivity, and the delicate balance that allows galaxies to thrive. In the cosmic tapestry of the universe, the web of dark matter gives life, but it can also be a harbinger of death. Researchers studying some of the universe's most intricately connected galaxies stumbled upon a perplexing discovery, a sudden decline in star formation. At first glance, it seems counterintuitive. If these junctions are rich in matter, why aren't more stars being born? The answer may lie in the dangers of overindulgence. In these matter-rich intersections of the cosmic web, young galaxies can gorge themselves on an abundance of gas. While this influx fuels star formation, it also feeds the supermassive black hole at the galaxy's core. When this celestial behemoth overeats, it emits high-energy jets and expels superheated winds. The radiation from these growing black holes can obliterate the surrounding material, effectively quenching star formation and leaving behind a dormant galaxy. It's a cautionary tale of cosmic proportions. While the cosmic web's connectivity can accelerate galactic growth, it's the overly connected galaxies that meet their demise the quickest, choked and stunted like overwatered plants. Our Milky Way, it seems, resides in a Goldilocks zone of galaxy formation, receiving just enough gas to sustain star formation, but not so much that its central black hole wreaks havoc. But now, a new, invisible force threatens the very fabric of the cosmic web. What does this mean for the future of galaxies and for us? To understand this enigma, we must journey back to the universe's inception 13.8 billion years ago. As the universe expanded from a tiny ball of pure energy, it gave birth to both regular and dark matter. Yet another force emerged simultaneously, dark energy. Dark energy has always been a part of the universe, lurking silently in the background. It's omnipresent, filling every nook and cranny of the cosmos. It appears to be halting the formation of larger structures, capping growth at the level of galaxy clusters. The cosmic web has been the universe's architect, engineer and builder, orchestrating the delicate balance between creation and destruction. But with the emergence of dark energy, the cosmic construction project may be grinding to a halt. As we grapple with these profound questions, we're reminded that the universe is a place of both wondrous creation and inevitable decay, and the cosmic web is its ultimate arbiter. In a realm of cosmic wonder, scientists have long grappled with the enigmatic forces that govern our universe. One prevailing theory suggests that dark energy has always existed, woven into the very fabric of space and time, governed by unchanging laws of physics. Contrary to the once popular belief that space is merely an empty vacuum, the discovery of dark energy has led some to speculate that space itself might be a substance, a mysterious entity that could even exert pressure, pushing things apart. 
As we delve deeper into the cosmos, we find that dark matter once dominated the young universe, serving as the scaffold for the intricate cosmic web. But this web carries within it the seeds of its own undoing. As it takes shape, pockets of emptiness, cosmic voids, emerge between its filaments. Within these ever-expanding voids, dark energy accumulates. What's truly perplexing about dark energy is its constant density. The larger the void, the more dark energy it contains. Over time, this dark energy begins to exert a force against the cosmic web, tearing open vast chasms in the universe's architecture. About five billion years ago, the strength of dark matter's gravitational pull was finally overwhelmed. Like bridge cables snapping in a hurricane, the filaments of the cosmic web stretched and broke, halting the construction of galaxies and signaling darker times ahead. The universe isn't just expanding, its expansion is accelerating at an alarming rate. As dark energy within the voids increases, the entire structure of the cosmic web starts to disintegrate. Eventually, the effects of dark energy will become so potent that they'll tear apart the very fabric of space-time itself. This isn't the stuff of superhero movies. In this cosmic narrative, the villain triumphs. The future of the cosmic web, and by extension our universe, is bleak. Our neighboring galaxies will drift farther and farther away, eventually becoming mere pinpricks of light before vanishing altogether. The universe, which began with a resounding bang, will meet its end in a silent whisper. It's the cosmic web that transformed the universe from chaotic beginnings into a magnificent structure, giving birth to galaxies, stars, and even life as we know it. Without this grand cosmic tapestry, the universe would be a far less captivating place. Our very existence, our past and our future are intricately tied to understanding this cosmic web, as well as the dark matter and dark energy that influence it. It's awe-inspiring to consider that the universe we observe today originated in its earliest moments, eventually giving rise to beings like us, capable of not just observing, but also contemplating its very existence. Now, isn't that something truly extraordinary?